What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys, on this channel, on the Two Wild for TV channel, man. Um, my boy Bull's been killing it when it comes to these sneaker, these these, these top 15, top 25, top 10 worst sneaker vids, and fortunately and unfortunately, because I didn't, uh, unfortunately I didn't watch it when it released two months ago but now i look back and say you know what this would be a good video to release you know this would be a good video to react to and first and foremost i want to say guys the last two videos i was texting i'll move my phone over there uh one reason why i was texting though is because something had happened unfortunately but i will make sure to keep my phone away when i'm reacting to these vids so i can stay focused on the objective at hand which is reacting you feel me and paying attention but Bull, these videos are always fun. I will leave a link down below in the description to Bull RC channel alongside with this video in particular. He gets tipsy, he gets drunk. Bacardi Bull comes in full effect. And uh, let's just check it out ourselves. All right, so what is good everybody on YouTube? This is of course your boy, Bullet RC. Come at you guys again with a another video. Oh, shit. Today. Today is the day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Hi. What's going on? What's popping? This is what you're the classic uh, twin um, special effects, man. These things been going a long way. I remember doing these, bull doing them, I'm doing them way back, and it still rang supreme today. And that old sample oh, velvet hoodie, man. We need to bring that back, man. We might need to do something different, but bring some velvet back, man. Is that velvet? Listen, bro, you be showing up like every like once in a blue moon. I don't know why they always asking about you. You come here like every one or two times a year. Listen, bro. it don't matter when I show up. Just know that every time I show up, I got the bottle and it's a banger every time. Why you act like this is new? Right, you did man, the listen, same thing last Y'all, y'all want this guy? Listen, I'm gone. I'm gone. Y'all take this guy. Take exactly. It. Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. We not. They not worried about you, bruh. They've been asking for- Well, if you're gonna do the fire in the, in the back, bruh, get the 24-hour stream. There's a 24-hour video of the fire just, 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 just going and going and going, bruh. We don't need a picture. We want to see that bitch moving. Okay? For Bacardi Bull. And Bacardi Bull is back in the building. Now, y'all know what that means. Make sure you drop a like on this bit. And today, we're getting to the top- 15 worst sneakers by Suda Garbanzo Beans Garbola Juice of 2020 so far. And y'all already know we're gonna finish up the year strong, but everything on this list basically dropped before July with a couple ones that I kind of cheated on a little bit. Now listen, before we even get started, hold on, let me toss the bottle. Y'all know what we gotta do. The hoodie is not, it's not even in the correct position. Hold on. Okay, we right? Right here, y'all can kind of see a little bit of the edge. Okay, the hoodie is in fluff boy position. We are ready to go. Listen, any brand, sneaker brands, my high fashion dudes out there, listen, we are on your head today. And if you are watching, feel free to go grab a bottle so I'm not drinking alone. That is if you are of the legal drinking age. All right, I'll go ahead and get me a beer, boy. It's only right. It's only right. If you're going to do it, I might as well do it, right? I got some Modelo. You gonna do it, boy? I'ma do it. You feel me? It's only right. I can't just sit here and let you do all the drinking. Right. Let's get popped. Not getting demonetized by YouTube. No thanks. Now before we even get started, let's just go ahead. I got the plastic bottle this time, but that bit be hidden every time. Listen, make sure you drop a like on this bit. Drop a like for me, Bacardi Bull. But let's not waste. That looking like some sweet tea, man. Looking like some sweet tea over there. It don't look too good. It don't look like that real Bacardi gold. It look a little, a little syrupy. It look a little uh, southern sweet tea, if you ask me. It's no more time. Let's get into, like I said, it's weird, but number 14. Number 14? You mean number 15? Yeah, I'm like, what the hell? Shout out to Ellen DeGeneres, you feel me? All right, so Pete. Everything I said about there being 14, no, there was 15. I'm coming to you from the, this is Bacardi Bull from the future, and we have uh, this one to throw in the mix. I just forgot one, and I realized it after I got done with the video. So Jesus Christ, you see the difference in him? You see how he's acting right now, compared to how he was just acting? He's drunk as fuck right here, basically. 
He's he slizzard. He went from basically like he went to one and then he went and did 15 after that. So we're seeing how this is. He's about to get real messed up. Jesus Christ. Take another swig. <laughs> This is Bacardi Bull from the future coming yeah. to y'all. This is like number one Bacardi Bull clip, y'all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah, basically. With another swig in the system. And I couldn't let this video go without having these joints right here. Margiela and Reebok taking what the Instant Pump the Fury. Fuck? Put in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle tabby toe on the front. Yeah. And then base boosting them into heels. Margiela. I don't know how y'all do it. Y'all create some of the worst Basuda sneakers that we see every- You talking about Mar Margella, look, they make that type of shit. They make that shit like you're talking about, bull. The more disrespect is the Reebok for allowing them to do that on their, on their, on the, on the Fury. Like, if a bad bitch fucks an ugly nigga, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, Get on the dude about fucking the bad bitch. Because he's supposed to be like, oh, congrats, you did it. I'm going to tell her like, yo, you fucked that nigga. Damn. But go ahead, boy. That, they look like they just hit a saw dust, a saw drill right in the middle of that motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Every year. I didn't even see and these. Y'all come with it every time. Every time I make a video, Margiela is on it. Why? Why did these need to be made? Why did they need to be shown? Why do these exist? Margiela, please. I think I and the people need an explanation. There's two versions? Basuda, bro. Listen, there's two versions. Know that every time there's a worst sneakers of the year, I feel like Margiela is going to be in there somewhere because they are the masters. The masters of taking a sneaker and making it basuda that's number 15 y'all are going to be transported back to like before i took all the the swigs bull okay now 14. swag lil b ellen degeneres swag ellen degeneres swag let's get it started and for those who did notice the finer little okay, details thank in you. back we got the fireplace on okay because again we we're gonna be firing these sneakers up and number 14 Cheers. well i'm gonna try to take a swig for every number We'll see where we're at by the time we get to number one. Probably gonna need to take smaller swigs than that, but it's okay. At number 14, we got Yeezy, Yeezy, Yeezy back in the building. No, it's not a trash 350. No, it's not a tan 350 this time. It is indeed the Yeezy Foam Runner. Yes, although I like this Basuda, I don't know if I should put myself right here. I'm gonna put myself right here. I'd like myself right here. These aren't that ugly. I, I, they, they're not, I, I can't say that necessarily, bull. I like these. They don't deserve to be ugly, but let, let's see what you gotta say. It is still in fact, Basuda. And y'all know how we do. Just because a shoe is trash, doesn't mean you can't like it. Just like these shits right here. Listen, the retail wasn't too bad at 75. Of course, the resellers are trying to charge about three times the price. You already know how it goes. But if you ever seen a clothes basket and thought, hey, I think that would be a dope shoe, blam, Kanye already beat you to it. Now, while these definitely look like squids on the toe, it don't matter how basuda they were, Yeezy is gonna sell. $75 Yeezys, they're gonna sell and they did listen i'm taking it kind of i just easy. don't know if i'm looking at this like a sneaker i'm looking at it like a, it's like a slide and I, I don't know if i can give it that basuda stamp because of the fact that it's like it doesn't really it's not like i mean it's a it's a it's a slide or it's a sandal more so than a shoe but it is i don't know it's it's an alien's dick like that's how it looks like an alien's dick bro so yeah, I guess it is ugly. We started off easy, and I'm sparing this one because, I mean, I do like these garbanzo beans Yeezys. So that was number 14. Nothing too crazy. Let's get to 13. Swag. 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 At number 13, you might have seen these at King's Dominion, Six Flags. Maybe you see them in the clearance store, and that is the Nike Air Rift. 
And the reason I say you might see a King's Dominion or Six Flags or Bush Gardens, whatever back music again. parts you got, is because this was a woman's sneaker, and I felt like we're back again with the Ninja Turtles, like you said, Master Splinters, motherfucker, Michelangelo, um, Leonardo. You know what I'm saying? Teenage Mutant Ninja T Turtles feet, their feet. You ever seen? You know, we talking about you know ninjas and shit. You ever seen the Ninja Turtles' feet? Like this is for their feet, probably. Like that's the feet they got. Some of them got three toes. I thought they got two. The hell they gave? How the hell they gonna give them three toes, bro? That, that this is this is messed up. Yeah, I mean, these are the shoes that they need to get. You need to get the Ninja Turtles. I feel like the only women that'll be wearing this is probably middle-aged mom. This looks like a middle-aged mom sneaker to me. That's not a shot, but that's what these shits are. Oh, and did I add that these retail for 140? That's... 140? Nike Air Rifts, Aqua Rifts. These trash shits, 140 retail. Listen. If I ain't ever seen an outlet special like these shits right here. Oh, and don't that's worry. That's a 40 I, plus I age. Forget, that's not no middle forget. age model. Well, I guess 40 is middle is age. A swig. <laughs> this is only the second one. This ain't gonna be good. Listen, the Aqua Rift is one of those sneakers that just it needs to die and go away. It's like the Jordan Trunner. And y'all know how much I hate whoa, the Jordan whoa, whoa. Trunner. That is I got a pair of those, I think. I might have sold them. They weren't, they, look, they weren't good, but they weren't that bad as this shit. This is number 13, the split toe <sighs> aqua riffs. Let's get to the next one. Listen, for number 12, 2020 has brought us a lot of craziness. It's a lot of crazy stuff going on i mean other than the again pandemic air jordan one mids are selling for above retail bro imagine telling somebody that seven years ago that air jordan one mids mid tops would be selling for 20 dollars over retail yes the resellers want that extra dub even though they're probably gonna lose it from the fees but that's a whole nother story and the funny thing is it ain't even a pair of mids it is these shits right here why why did y'all take the Stan Smith classic Adidas sneaker and cut the ass off the joints? The Stan Smiths with the ass out. This is not the. F this is that shit, and I, I don't know for a fact. I mean, I, I'm gonna go with Bull, just saying what it is, what it is. But what happened here is what happened to a lot of shit. Motherfuckers like to do this to their shoes, like get a shoe and then just flatten the back and then make it be that. You know what I'm saying? Um, everybody, like, if you ever look at the shoot, the slippers that, like, you know, uh, Craig wore on Friday, everybody wears those and they eventually flap the heel down and just make them bitches like slippers instead of like, they're still slippers, but they, they fuck that heel up on the back. Why would you just, just flatten it? Like, I don't know. Let's just hear it. The fuck is this? Is this a shoe? It can't be a shoe now. You took the, the heel off. First time we've seen tap. a sneaker with the ass out. We've seen other ones, but for some reason, yeah. this yellow Stan Smith with no heel was approved and dropped. I feel like they're in Adidas meeting. This kind of how it went. Hey guys, um, you know, just wanted to do a kind of creative meeting real quick and kind of see where you guys were at. We were thinking of something new. We need something new and innovative. Tom, how about you? Um, yeah, I was thinking that we drop. You know, we talked to Kanye. And we drop another Yeezy 350, and it's tan. A tan 350. We've never seen that before. Tom, great idea. You're getting a raise. That's good. All right, Tyler, what you got? Well, I was thinking that we take one of our, you know, original models. We take that Stan Smith, and we cut the back off of it, and we sell it. I don't. I think this would be a hit. I don't think this would go to clearance at all. At seventy dollars, is a nice, affordable option. It's. I think it'll be revolutionary. Tyler. Listen, that is the best idea I've heard running. And that is how the Stan Smith <laughs> slot came to be. I've already forgotten if I took a swig for this number. So I'm going to take a swig again. We're only at fucking like 12. This. This is bad. The 
that's a fucking horrible interview my girlfriend swag swag I don't even remember seeing that shoot I'm happy I didn't don't ever do no shit like that again Jordan Brand if you ever do that to a pair of ones I'd probably never buy a pair of ones again in my goddamn life Swag, rub, ring, dang, dang, yo, girl. Swag. At number 11, we have an Adidas collab. One of the worst, laziest, expensive for no reason Prada, collabs. Prada. The Prada Adidas Superstar. This sneaker, can y'all guess the retail? Why y'all guess the retail? I'm going to take a swig. $500. Maybe four fifty five. dollars I think it was 500 though. It's just ridiculous. Okay, y'all got it. What y'all guess? Uh, 200, 300? Nah, nah, nah. Try 450. 450 from some regular ass superstars that say Prada on the side. Listen, these are worse than the Supreme Air Force Ones. And the only reason the Supreme Air Force Ones are not on this list is because that shoe costs $95. Yeah. Do not buy Supreme Air Force Ones at resale. I told y'all, and I'll tell y'all again, that sh don't. Don't do that. Fuck them shit. This is probably one of the most stupid collaborations Adidas has ever did. Um, and, and they should have did it with the Stan Smith. They were going to do it anyway. This doesn't match the superstar, bro. The superstar has always been a shoe that is like for the people, for the culture. This shit is ridiculous. At least the price point. If you're gonna do the Prada, you try to you you tell Prada to come down. It seems like Prada told fucking Adidas to come up. You look at the fragments and the the Jordan fragment collaboration and all the prices on all the fragment clothing, or even on the off white. Like Nike made those companies bring their prices down. You know what I'm saying? Like we weren't being charged like insane prices on off-white nike collabs and and um even you know jordan fragment collabs with the normal fragment the normal off-white would charge but when it came to this prada and adidas shit prada adidas said fuck it we'll do whatever you want to do and in my opinion prada is fucking dead i don't even buy designers so i don't even have the right to say it but prada is so goddamn 2000 and I don't even know what 15 or something back when when T.I. was rocking that shit Fuck that shit Let's go out to the store and buy a regular pair of all-white forces Listen, you see this box right here. You probably can't cuz it's overexposed. You see this box right here. These cost $90 Blam a nice fresh white pair of forces that you probably can barely see. I need to get me a pair They overexposed buy a pair of these don't buy fucking Supremes again. Yeah. The Supremes are not on the list because they got beat by these Prada Adidas. And I, I'm, I don't know. Fuck. Get a Supreme know. sticker and throw it on there, man. You'll be all right. I'm pretty sure I took a sweep. <laughs> that was, ah, that was a small one. Girlfriend look like L. Swag. Chain like the Jenner. Like the Damn little B. Swag. You didn't came up. Swag. All right, so we are now in top 10 territory. And this next sneaker, I've almost almost called it basuda and then it kind of got away from me i forgot about it for a little while but today today it is getting this work and at number 10 the high fashion guys out there might not agree and that's fine the prada cloud bust oh you shit. cannot tell me that i did not oh. have these shoes i like these though these are the ones that i did with cash got Cash got them in black and yellow, and I think uh, I think even Flight got them in black and yellow. I actually like these. <sighs> these are some Scorpion. That's this is Sub Zero, and other ones are Scorpions. I wonder if Bull's gonna mention that, but these do like some fucking Mortal Kombat. Let's just see. I even said it last time. Let's see. It's in elementary school. The only difference is that they said Hot Wheels on the side. They probably had some flames. That's the vibes I get from this shoe. Mortal Kombat. This shoe right here. These trash product joints cost. Eight hundred and ninety-five dollars. If you're about to buy these, just buy some Balenciaga tracks or track twos. Don't matter. And yes, the Balenciagas are by Suda, but I like those. So maybe it's a little bias there. But you know, who cares? Who cares? Did I take a swig yet? I don't know. This is a rapper sneaker. It's the same way that rappers wear them fucking Margellas. The fucking glue Margellas. Rappers be having. That's probably the worst sneaker ever fucking created. I want to know what the meeting was about when they dropped it. Like, they, they have to be laughing at us, bro. 
They have to be fucking laughing at us. Having those on heavy. And y'all are not gonna sit here on this video and tell me that this shoe right here is not trash for a thousand dollars plus. Listen, the rappers be having some of y'all out here looking crazy, bro. And that's it, the Prada Cloud Bus. These are about suited, bro. These are trash. And if you got a pair, just know it's all jokes. Nah, I'm just playing them shits is trash. Let's get to the next one. Now you touring heavy and your show cost 30 G's. Swag. Damn base God. You doing everything. Swag. At number nine, we have a brand that I have never heard of before. And it is a collab with Converse. And I don't know if they've dropped yet. This is another one of those sneakers where I kind of cheated a little bit. But we have the Eastwood Danzo and Converse collab. I know the what the fuck are The fuck is that? This shit look like a nigga went to the thrift to, to the thrift store, got a pair of Converse, found the most random boot on the fucking display, cut the shoe in half, threw uh, tar on the right on the glued them in together, and put a, a damn Crown Royal bag on the top. Or I don't even know what the hell that is. I'm com. They're laughing. That Vibram brand, I actually did a video about that shit. The, hot, the top rated Amazon shoe or something like that. That brand is weird. The disrespect. For these is like a meme for the heater hypes, but what the fuck are these? Who made the converses with the condom on the top, bro? What's going on? This is what's happening in- It's a fucking bonnet. bonnet. The shit, I got a fucking do-rag on the top of that bitch. 2020 with sneakers these have that margella syndrome where they just look like they were just glued on top yeah. of some shit crazy diy look and who knows it could have been just a runway sneaker but sheesh bro come on somebody did this bro so at number nine the converse yeah. pro condom joints i don't think i took a swig i'm yet. gonna grab my phone i'm not grabbing my phone there we go uh. And I still swag harder. Jesus. I now rang real big like a charger. And number eight, we are back in high fashion territory with another pair of high fashion slides on a sneaker that I already think is trash in most colorways. And that is the Versace Chain Reaction Sandal. Whoa. Again. Guess how much he's called? I like the the ones that two chains be doing this shit. I never seen this shit. They these sneaker companies are just throwing shit together. Like they just like grab a fucking sandal, throw it on top of this shoe. Grab a goddamn slipper, throw it on the top of this uh this uh Timberland boot. So like what the hell? I wanna know. Tell me, boy. Don't worry, you don't have to wait too long. $420. $420. Four twenty, four hundred and twenty dollars off the hip gets you these trash ass shits right here. I don't know what it is with this year and everyone just trying to make a sandal. This is one of them or uh, Orange County uh, girls wearing this shit at the um, at a pool party or some shit, wearing a bikini, but she wearing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Orange County, fucking uh, what's that? Laguna Beach or some shit or a slide of stuff that doesn't need to be turned into a sandal or a slide but we have been delivered a lot of sandal and slide basura for sure in 2020 and these versace chain reaction shits do not disappoint at all if you're watching this right now you have a pair of these bruh 
I'm sorry. The motherfuckers at Versace got you. And relax before someone's gonna comment, he's Versace, he's, you said Versace. We know, it's a joke, relax. Next number. Yeah, he Woo! tight, but Woo! I'm swagging harder. Swag. See me Swag. on the internet, Swag. 10 million YouTube. At number seven, we have one of the worst offenders of the high fashion category, other than Margiela. Margiela B, they're on a whole nother level. We have Balenciaga not only ripping off a shoe that cost about 20 to 30 bucks, but then pricing that sneaker at $550. And when I talk about this shoe, I asked for the UK brothers and sisters to expand on it because it is like this shoe right here. This shoe is a Lonsdale, basically like a Payless sneaker. Now, if you guys look in the top, you guys are gonna see it says, I believe 19 pounds. Okay, now look at this sneaker. And what's gonna happen is we fade that one away and then look at this. Guess what? Balenciaga, just Balenciaga, the Lonsdales, and then charged you $500 plus more just for the double B. These don't look that bad. They kind of look like the Puma King joints too. But for $550 fucking dollars, you son of a bitch. Be on the tough. So now, when I look at this shoe right here, I feel like I'm getting a call on GTA 4 from fucking Roman to go bowling because these look like some bowling shoes. Charging $550 yeah. for this sneaker right here I would is never wear crazy. Him. And again, I am one of the people who does the same thing. We spend money on the names, but this one is nowhere near worth it to me. Again, the UK brothers and sisters out there is probably going to have more to say about this because I believe Lonsdale is a UK-based brand. I had to take a quick sip. Now at number six, we actually got a very My nigga said he made a girl off of MySpace. God damn. Since sneaker, this one out of nowhere for $300 USD, the Mizuno Inner Z. Now I kind of gave are these like a fucking herpes shoe or a tumor shoe? Like, this is like herpes or, yeah, like herpes. Like it was a regular sh a shoe that had a regular sole and it got herpes. Or like HPV or some shit. Gave it some excuses saying, oh, it's a performance sneaker. Nah, or you know. your hype, blah, blah, blah. Nah, fuck all that. No one cares. These shits is ass. And let's just be honest about it. These is the Pepto-Bismol 5s, the Bubble Gut 6s, the, the Tum gut, yeah. 7s, every <laughs> name. The Mumps 8s. I mean, what's a 9? The Bum Bump 9s. I mean, we could go on. Yeah. And the retail at 300 for these shits, bro. Mizuno. Those are bubble guts. Bubble guts. Yeah, bubble guts. You did this. For now I'm on TV like Ellen DeGeneres. 30,000 for his show. Oh, you're so generous. At number five. Again, let me just preface this. If you guys see this shoe, please don't go on their page saying that I said they was trash. I can say it here. I like the clothes. I seen someone do that. Let, let's not do that. Let's keep all the shit talking right here. Don't take it to people's IG pages. They don't need that. That's their thing. Whatever. But these shits right here. Someone called these the Moose Knuckle Threes. And I completely agree. Listen. <laughs> the Moose Knuckle th These shits is like something that like a camel's fucking shoe. Like, you know how horses got shoes? Like... I feel like you open these bitches up and put your foot in, this will fit a fucking camel's foot. So that they're walking on the sand, they can walk properly. These do look like, a, this shoe just looks like a goddamn moose, the, the face of it. Like a damn Toucan Sam, like a bird's nose, it's like Toucan Sam nose. It looked like an animal. Listen, I am Yacht Gang size 12. Jesus Proud Christ. Yacht Gang size 12. Could y'all imagine me putting on a size 12 in this big ass moose hoof fucking sh- Is it like, what What animal was that, guys? Does it look like fucking uh, Pluto or, or uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Pluto or Dumb, uh, Dumb. I feel stupid, but who's Pluto? Who's, who's Pluto owned by? Goofy, uh, yeah, like a fucking goofy. <laughs> Looks like a fucking goofy's face. The shoe, yeah. 
Exactly. Come on, guys. Don't that look like his fucking, like the nose part? Fuck. Shoe and post. This shit look like the shit that Ronald McDonald's or like Mickey Mouse or like even like uh, Chuck E. Cheese be wearing them big ass. They be having them wear them big ass shoes like this. Listen to flick on IG. I hope y'all would flame me. Do not let me live with those. I mean, drop a like on the photo too. But don't be afraid to have fun with it. It's okay. This is one of them joints that just leave you speechless. And I'm just thinking about number one right now. And when we get to number one, it is. Listen, we're we gonna get to it. Ellen DeGeneres. Swag. Ellen DeGeneres. Swag. Ellen DeGeneres. Swag. Ellen DeGeneres. At number four, these are definitely getting a nasty award, and it is for the ladies out there. Hold on. Y'all know what we gotta do. I think I'm doing okay. A doing Fortnite okay with the lid. Effect. In 2020, we have seen things, a lot of things that we never thought would happen. And one of those things at number four, certified nasty award, is these shits right here. Bape has made Bapesta heels. Y'all remember back in the day on the fake? Yes, the Jordans that had the heels. It's got these gotta be fake. Sites where you had the craziest shit, the craziest Jordans. They had the Jordan heels and the Bape heels. In 2020, it is a real thing. I just want to know. I know Nigo's not a part of Bape, but what went through Nigo's head when he saw these shits right here be announced? Listen, I don't even feel like the ladies that like Bape want to wear Bapes to heels because I feel like you just this you're is gonna shit. look crazy, and I feel like they know that. This shit probably getting eaten up over in Japan and in China, bro. Trust me. Trust me. I don't know, man. When I seen these, I just, I was just like, damn, 2020 is just, can we just get to 2021? Can we just skip through 2020, bro? It's such a cool year. You think 2020, what happens in 2020? Babes to heels happen in 2020. On set, swag at 10 o'clock, swag. Number three, we gotta get, get crazy now. Swag to the 10. Uh oh. Okay. What's up? Talk to it's me. Top three time. We are in top three territory. Top three. Top three, not top five, not top tens. We are in top three territory. And it is time. At number three, we have the Balenciaga Tyrex sneaker. So first of all, this is like the shoe that Bull actually got, the, the upper. This shit look like Freddy Krueger. This shit look like his fuck Freddy Krueger's face. Balenciaga Tyrex. He's like Freddy Krueger's goddamn face, bro. This this black though, like a black version, you know what I'm saying? Like this black. Look at all the like you see how Freddy got all them damn like them layers and shit and all up in here. The fuck? Sneaker. That heel is that 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 soul is weird. That shit rep. Do y'all see these shits, bro? These shits look like they tore up the Michelin Man and just put them back together as a sneaker. This is one of the <coughs> ugliest Balenciagas that I've ever seen in my life. And these just have to be like a meme. I know people have been saying it, that they make these shoes so ugly that people talk about them and it's just all press is good press. I've never seen anyone have these on personally. Maybe if I was in LA or NY, I might see some more of these. Uh, or no. London or something. I don't know. Maybe somebody popped out of self bridges with these shits on. I don't know. But if y'all want to talk about like a just pure Basuda sneaker, this is Basuda in one of its purest forms. The tie Rex sneaker with the square ass toe, the crazy ass heel. And y'all want to know how much these cost? I think what, $8.95? Yeah, I had to check. <laughs> Eight hundred and ninety-five dollars. Are you 900. spending nine hundred dollars on this sneaker right here? Let me know down below. But it is time to get into number two, 
and two and one are crazy. Two is super crazy. One is super crazy. I, I don't even know if y'all ready, but let, let's do let's it. Let's see. Let's do it. Stage pass. Stage pass. VIP pass. And number two. This one could have been switched out for number one, but just number one just takes it to another level. And number two, we have one of the worst collabs of the year. One of the dumbest fucking sneakers I've ever seen or dumbest fucking shoes I've ever seen. Do not buy this shoe. The KFC and Crocs collab. Complete with pieces of fried chicken that pop on the top that get it smell like fried chicken. Now, not only do you get the regular Crocs, if you wanna just base boost the Basuda, you get the joints with the platforms on them as well. Wow. Yes, you can wear a bucket of I didn't Kentucky know that. fried chicken on your feet. Listen, if I want fried chicken, I'm not going. This is all publicity. We know what the hell that is. This like they did the. I wonder if he, nah, because that was last. I think that was 2019. But the Pizza, Pizza Hut did a sneaker as well. Yeah, this was just a stupid thing. I know a lot of people that actually got them though. I know like Seth got them. A lot of people got them. This is more. This is more of a joke to me than anything. Going to fucking KFC. I mean, I'm from the 757, so I can just go to like fucking Feather and Finn. I mean, I could go to Food Line and get some fried chicken from there. It'd be way better than KFC. I can't. I can't lie. I don't like. I don't think KFC. When I want to get food and shit, like our chicken, I go. I, I ain't gonna lie. I go to. I'll go to Publix get a rotisserie. You know what I'm saying? But KFC, like when you really think about it, KFC over the years, like young 90s, whatever the young the 90s and up. KFC really ain't really lost it. Like, you look at McDonald's that, like, kind of lost it over the years. McDonald's is starting to get back. Um, a lot of, you know, Taco Bell has been kind of staying the same. I don't think KFC really lost it as far as their food. This is on a whole different topic. Like, KFC chicken hit, bro. It still hit. Mrs. Winters used to hit. They, they, we lost a lot of them out here. But, yeah. This shit is, like, astronaut dick sauce. can't put it into words how basura garbanzo beans, garbola juice, the KFC Crocs are. Do not buy this shoe, please. And I don't even know if I took the swig early, so let's take a swig. Okay. It's oh, Sorry. Uh, so all right. So number At one. At number one, and also the KFC Crocs, they didn't drop yet. That's one that was talked about a long time ago. I guess the release got pushed back. It doesn't matter. It doesn't the release date doesn't matter because you don't need to mime anyways. But at number one, at number one, I'm just trying to think what it could be. I feel like it's something I didn't see. Like it can't be something I've seen because I did know about the KFC. I wouldn't even I didn't even think about that. So maybe I forgot. But it can't be the Pizza Hut ones because those Pizza Hut ones came out last year. This shoe that we're about to talk about, y'all have probably never seen other okay. than maybe on my videos. And it is something that I, I, this is definitely one I'm exposing you to. This shoe cost $1,855 oh. and hold on. No, it was $1,897.55. That's two racks. For the It Fives Blam. I did see those. This sneaker is real. It is a real shoe. It is handmade. <laughs> said the it vibes. I remember seeing this. The guy was like, you know, this shoe is handcrafted and this and that. The leather gets so good and beautiful and all this bullshit. My nigga. I don't give a fuck what you did to it. This nigga got nails in the shoe and shit. And it does cost almost 2000 It does when them taxes hit, bull. Dollars. Yes, they look beat down they already look beat down the toe is up in the air the shits might as well be talking and if it had a sneaker collab it would be these shoes right here the one thing about all these sneakers and especially this one right here i want y'all to think about is that someone out there in the world bought this sneaker and it my question is when, when he was making the shoe did he just not give a fuck about what he was doing like Craftsmanship played no parts. Was he like, oh yeah, I messed up here. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a nail in here because it's gonna make it even look better. Oh yeah, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just throw nails all here and nails underneath. And I'm, oh, that, I didn't do this right. I'm gonna just fix that. The stitching, like it's no craftsmanship. Like what? I don't know what the this shit is like baking in the back back here. So I'm wondering, like, what the hell was he thinking when he was making it? Like the mistakes didn't matter. 
These are the it. Yes, boy, you said it perfectly fine on that. The it. These are the Captain Jack Sparrows in red. It, it probably is wearing it right now. And as far as Basuda and Trash goes, I know this is a brand and it's like Niho Mano that you've never heard before, that you've never seen. I don't give a fuck. But I don't know if it gets worse than this. Again, this is only for the first half. So if anything is dropping July 1st or the rest of the year, it cannot be on this list. I did cheat a little bit, but that was kind of my main rule. I just don't know if this shoe is worse than the Margiela glue joint. This shoe right here versus the Margiela glue. Y'all let me know which is the worst Basuda, which is more Basuda in your opinion. I think that Margiela, it's hard to beat. And it's hard to beat in a bad way. It's hard to beat that level of Basuda. But these joints right here for the price, how they look, and the fact that some somebody did this and somebody is wearing these right now. That is number one. That is the worst thing that I have seen thus far this year for sure. I don't think you're going to go ahead it. and end off the video. Listen, if there is any Basuda that you guys have seen, please let me know down in the comments below. And in your opinion, what was the worst sneaker on the list? You might hate something more than number one, but in my opinion, number one is just it's unforgivable. But before we get out of here, you know we got to do it, man. One more switch. I would definitely say that Listen, I agree with you on number one, bull. But them motherfucking Fury joints you showed in the number 15, that, that shit should have been like top five. Around whatever the fuck you did, them Bapesters, them shit should have been right around them Bapesters because them were disrespect. This disrespect. Horrible. But them number one joints, I don't know what the fuck to tell you, man. Them bitches look like some Ronald McDonald. It, like you said. No, he just, and then two racks. He, he, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. But guys... I'm going to leave a link down below in the description to this video. Go and check it out. Bull will be doing one more of these later on in the year. He, he usually does them like one through the half of the year and the other through the rest of the half. So I, I, I think those ones will stay. I don't see anything else changing, honestly. So, you know, let me know. You guys' thoughts and opinions down below. I love y'all. And, uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.